With the announcement of Dynamax and Gigantamax evolution in Sword and Shield, everyone is excited. I mean, look at all these positive posts. People are practically shitting their pants with excitement. Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing are some of the most hated features being introduced into Pokemon Sword and Shield other than the introduction of the single tree. That being said, I don't understand why the two new features are getting so much hate. The National Dex controversy might be up to no good here, but just so I can have a purpose for a video, let's just say that Dynamax and Gigantamax are seen as uncreative and just flat out bad ideas. I'd like to preface this by saying that in general I'm not really a fan of each generation having a gimmick, and I hope in the future they pick one and go along with it. Anyway, I think that Gigantamax and Dynamax are better than Mega Evolutions and Z moves. And here's why! So Mega Evolutions are considered the best new feature Game Freak has introduced since making the switch to 3D. They give certain Pokemon awesome new temporary designs and allows them to advance their strength further during the battle by use of a Keystone on the trainer and a Mega Stone on the Pokemon. It also upped their stats and gave most of them new abilities as well so they could be formidable or even more formidable than they were before. And having your favorite Pokemon get its own Mega Evolution is a pretty surreal feeling. My personal favorite Mega is definitely Flygon, who finally got a Mega Evolution in Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire after popular demand, but Pokemon like Altaria and Lopunny definitely would have been rendered obsolete without a Mega Evolution. It gave a chance for otherwise very forgettable Pokemon to have a second chance in the limelight and gave some Pokemon badass new designs and others completely adorable designs while others didn't really change much. These are all reasons that people loved Mega Evolution, and I don't want to give you the wrong idea because I also loved them and was hoping they'd be part of the new game. It was one of my top 10 hopes for Sword and Shield, so you can imagine I was a little distraught when they said they aren't coming back, and neither are Z-moves. I've expressed the fact that I don't like Z-moves as much as Mega Evolutions, and that's very far from an unpopular opinion. But that being said, a lot of people were still a fan of Z-moves. They had cool cutscenes for all the moves, and the dances are actually pretty fun to do in real life, as embarrassing as that is to say. Like Mega Evolutions, there were several Z-moves exclusive to one Pokemon. Pikachu had a thousand of his own Z-moves, and Snorlax got his own that came with early copies of Sun and Moon. Other Pokemon like Mimikyu and the Alola starters got to have exclusive Z-moves as well. However, unlike Mega Evolutions, every Pokemon was able to use a Z-move if they held a stone that was the same type as any of their moves. They probably ended up doing this in part so that all the Pokemon in the game could get to shine at least a little, but I think it ended up making Mega Evolutions feel more special or unique compared to Z-moves. And if you ask me, I'd say Mega Forms are a lot cooler than Z-moves. And that actually ties perfectly into why I think the two new features, Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing, are a perfect combination, and they really take the best of both worlds in this scenario. When Dynamaxing was first announced, I'll admit, I wasn't amazed by it, and that's because of the same Z-move syndrome that we talked about. All Pokemon could do it, and not only that, the only thing changing about them was that they were getting big. However, even then I realized what they were trying to do with the additions to the games. It seems as if Game Freak is trying to combine the two features without making them ridiculously overpowered, which the previous features both suffer in most cases. This is why they limited them to three turns only. The fact that they get big is a new form, but obviously they can't give a brand new form to every Pokemon since every Pokemon isn't in the game! Oh! Obviously they can't create and design a new form for every Pokemon, so they have to just pick a few. Taking the Z-move side of things into account, Pokemon who Dynamax gain attacks called Max Moves, which are essentially powered up moves that depend on the original moves that they know, and Gigantamaxing grants Pokemon brand new forms and additional exclusive attacks known as G-Max Moves. So let's recap. Mega Evolutions give certain Pokemon brand new temporary forms that power up their stats and in most cases give them brand new abilities. Z-moves don't power up stats or give new abilities, however they do power up singular moves and allow all Pokemon to deliver a devastating blow that can change the tides of battle. There are also certain exclusive moves. Dynamaxing is a form that all Pokemon are capable of tapping into, allowing new moves and higher stats, and Gigantamaxing is all that and then some. Gigantamaxing Pokemon get their own exclusive G-Max move, and an entirely different design. Getting brand new designs and higher stats were the biggest parts of Mega Evolution, and exclusive powerful moves were the biggest part of Z-Moves, and they've been rolled into one. I wouldn't be surprised if some Pokemon that formerly had Mega Evolutions used the same designs for their Gigantamax forms, and Pokemon that previously had exclusive Z-Moves are given a G-Max move that are reminiscent of their old attacks.
So I hope I was able to inform you on the core mechanics of Dynamaxing and Gigantamaxing and tell you why I think they are better than Megas and Z moves. It's important to not let the national dex controversy affect your opinion and criticisms on the rest of the game because I think it caused a negative trickle down effect on the rest of the game and people are seeing gameplay features and additions in a different light. But that being said, if you enjoyed this, let me know if you think the new features will be better than the previous ones. And like this video to show me that you guys like this more freeform type of topic video. Last but not least, subscribe so you don't miss another video from me, and with all that out of the way, my name is Shiny Zoroark, and I bid you adieu.